Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. This is Bharat. We are lo looking into the geography series of lectures. Today in this video, we are going to see soil, soil types, how the soils are formed and in the soils, in the variety of soils, what crops can be grown and also we are going to see soil erosion and how to check the soil erosion friends. Soils where soils are found soils are found on the <coughs> upper layers of the earth's crust that is on the surface of the earth to some depth of the earth friends and this soil is the mixture of organic matter minerals moisture with air friends without why the soil is important if you think that why soil is important without soil there will be no vegetation the plants cannot grow without the soil friends so if there is no vegetation there will be no food cycle if there is no food cycle there will be no ecosystem at all there is no chance to survive survival of the man or our animals so soil plays a very very crucial role in our ecosystem how soils are formed usually the parent material for soils are rocks these rocks due to weathering they will be uh, they form very very small fine pieces friends this this is called weathering or it is decomposed friends and these weathered and decomposed materials they deposit together and they form soils friends and these are transported from one place to the other place through water and wind or it may be through man or animal also so the factors affecting the formation of soil for the formation of soil the parent material is very very important because from the parent material itself the minerals are got from the uh, got by the soils and topography climate organisms which deals with it and the time is the major factor in the formation of soils friends so according to the indian council for agricultural research divides indian soil into eight types friends so we are uh, seeing the types of soil in the view of agriculture friends that is the uh, important angle through which we have to study in the examination but not in the uh, view of geologist but of the agricultural researchers okay friends so our indian indian council has divided into uh, have identified eight different types of indian soils for the sake of uh, uh, vegetation that is uh, forest soil alluvial soil red soil arid soil or desert soil saline soil or uh, ocean soil black soil pt or marshy soil and laterite soil and of all these uh, we will see where this uh, soils are present in our india in this map we can clearly see the major soil types of india where it is placed in the main and first for and foremost alluvial soil is the alluvial soil which we can see in the northern plains in northern plains and also in the east coast of india we can see the alluvial soils friends and later we can see the black soil which is in the some part of the uh, deccan plateau and some part in the central highlands and we can see uh, red and yellow soil it covers the eastern part of india and here and there there are some laterite soils remaining or arid soil which is in the desert part and the himalayan soils or forest soils or mountain soils which we can see in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand arunachal pradesh and sikkim and these are from the soils of india friends now we are going to see each and every every soil one by one friends one first we, we are going to see alluvial soil alluvial soils are of two types one is kadar other one is bangar kadar means new alluvial soil bangar means old alluvial soil which you have to remember at any cost friends this is a direct bit which we can get from the soils and crops 
the the crops which we can grow in alluvial soil is uh, wheat rice maize sugarcane pulses oil seeds fruits vegetables leguminous crops and alluvial soils are rich and fertile soils these are the soils responsible for the grain revolution in punjab and haryana which increased the production to many folds and alluvial soils are rich in potash but it is poor in nitrogen friends so we use nitrogenous fertilizers to reach up the fertilization so here next soil is a black soil these soils are formed by the volcanoes mainly basic volcanoes in the deccan plateau friends and, and it is spread in the deccan plateau and central highlands and black soil is a fertile to grow cotton so it is mainly called black cotton soil it is rich in potash iron magnesium calcium and black soil is also called self plowing soil when it gets dried up the, the cracks are formed on the black soil so that the air can go inside and out when there is a rain it easily seeps into the black soil so in this way it is called self plowing soil friends so black soil is compared with the chernozem soil of russia which is the rich and very suitable for wheat production and it is also called bread basket of the world in russia friends so in the same way this chernozem soil of russia is compared to the black soil of india friends the suitable crops which can be grown on this soil are cotton pulses millets linseeds tobacco sugarcane vegetables and citrus fruits and next comes the red soil red in color it is due to the presence of iron that is ferrous or iron oxide friends when it is hydrated that is water is mixed in the this red soil it turns somewhat yellowish in color okay friends and these are the crops which are suitable to grow on red soil are wheat cotton pulses tobacco millets oil seeds potato maize groundnut and orchids friends and next comes the laterite soils laterite soils are developed in the areas of high temperature and also high rainfall friends these are called in latin word it is laterite in latin it is called brick friends actually this meaning is brick why it is called brick brick soil because this soil when it is wet it is very as soft as butter but when it becomes hard and dry it becomes very very hard friends so this type of quality is required for the making of bricks bricks when it is may when it is produced while manufacturing it should be as smooth as butter when it was cut into the shape of cuboid after drying it it should be very very hot so this this soil is also called brick soil if you want if you want to grow any uh, type of trees we can grow cashew nuts and tea, tea plantations are done on this laterite soil now comes the arid soil arid soils are desert soils and these are bought by the flowing winds from the indus river system or indus banks to the rajasthan friends so if we can see in rajasthan we have indira gandhi canal through which water was supplied to this rajasthan with minimal requirement of water uh, these people can grow bajra pulses gaur fodder with less water required for these crops friends so plants which are grow in the deserts just i have included this uh, are called plants which grow on deserts are called xerophytes xerophytes are kind of cactus kind of plants friends now we can see mountains or forest soils mainly this mountain soils and forest soils are found in the uh, uh, himalayas and uh, and sikkim and arunachal pradesh and some part of the western ghats friends so due to the humus uh, because already there are trees and the, these trees shed leaves and these leaves get dried up and falls on the floor friends these dry dried uh, leaves becomes humus and this humus increases the fertility of the soil this fertile soil can make the trees to grow up to 
more heights friends are of around 150 meters or 100 to 150 meters friends okay now we can see a ptr marshy soil these are not fertile or for agriculture and these are called curry in uh, some parts of our uh, country friends in up and kerala it is called uh, curry friends these are usually waterlogged in in nature friends usually in monsoon season these lands are filled with water after monsoon when it is dried up they will cultivate this land friends and there is also saline soil and which is not uh, useful for agriculture friends so mainly the problems which we face in indian soils are soil erosion is a main uh, main enemy for agriculture friends and deficiency in fertility yes even any soil if we take even if you take alluvial soil it is it is lacking nitrogenous mineral friends if you take black soil it is lacking something friends so there is no perfect soil in uh, available in india we lack some or other thing in each kind of type of soils friends desertification water logging salinity over exploitation of soils urbanization shifting cultivation and deforestation mainly these are the problems of indian soils but we will take up only soil erosion soil erosion are of three types this you have known in your school days itself friends soil erosion or sheet, sheet erosion the erosion occurs by sheet by sheet friends and there is a rill erosion a rill, rill erosion means you can see when when you when you see uh, if there is any rainfall friends you can see on the streets there is a, uh, a river like uh, flow that we can see in the streets after the rain where water flows and there is a marking on the soil so this is called rill erosion and curly erosion a removal of soil by the forces of nature particularly by wind and water is rapid speed then erosion happens there is a definition which is given and factors affecting uh, soil erosion are what are the factors which are indirectly affecting the soil erosion or deforestation overgrazing by cattle and wrong, wrong agricultural practices so how what are the methods we can take to check or to challenge this soil erosion is by afforestation by growing more and more plants by planting more and more plants and checking over grazing construction of dams and changing the agricultural practices instead of uh, crop rotation or uh, by shifting cultivation we can go for strip cropping counter cropping and terracing and counter mining and crop rotation friends so these all from the soil erosion uh, soils of india we have seen types of soils and what are the crops we can grow on each kind of soil and we have seen where are the soils present actually in india and what are the problems faced by the indian soils and agricultural and how to check the soil erosion don't forget to download the pdf which is in the description box there is a link is given you can go and download the full geography pdf if you have already downloaded please ignore that if you have if you are not downloaded till now you are advised to download friends thank you bye bye